Hi folks, this is Adrian at 18 Echo SF. Well, I finally finished all of the upgrades to my Glock 19, and I just thought I'd show you the finished product. I'm sure it's not the only one that you've seen like this, <laughs> but uh, it's mine. So it's the only one of mine that you will have seen like this. Um, you know, let me bring the gun up here. Uh, this is uh, my 19. And um, I never thought I'd ever own one. You know, I mentioned before I'm a 1911 guy. Um, but I love commander length um, handguns. And here in California, um, you are not able to buy a 9mm commander length 1911 uh, because of this ridiculous California roster of guns we have that says what you're, what you're allowed to buy and what you can't buy. Anyway, um, so I you know, searched around trying to think, what do I want to do? I looked at the Sig Sowers. Um, uh, they have this ridiculous loaded chamber indicator on the top of the slide. That wasn't too bad, but down each side of it in bright white letters, which you can't remove, um, on both sides of it, it said loaded went up, you know, I mean, how childish. So um, I, I decided against that. I did come very close to buying a CZ, but I had a problem. I was a PO1, great gun, but I did have a problem with the dealer. Uh, uh, again, here in California concerning uh, the magazine capacity and what they choose to do, which is block off. Um, I think there were 14 round magazines, block them off so you can only put 10. And the problem is they pin them and you can't take them apart. Um, it's ridiculous. So um, I then went back to looking and shooting uh, the Glock 19. And after shooting it three or four times, I eventually came to like it. Didn't love it, but I came to like it. Um, after owning it now for, I guess, about two months, I now really do love the gun, I have to admit. I can see why... So many people have bought them and why Glock sells so many of these pistols. So anyway, um, this gun is unloaded, by the way. There's the magazine <laughs> sitting over here. And there is nothing in the, uh, uh, in the chamber. Um, anyway, just to let you know what I changed, for those of you that haven't seen this, um, the trigger, let me see if it'll focus at all. Well, it doesn't do such a great job, my iPhone camera. Well, the trigger is a smooth trigger, this one. This is off of a Glock 17. And uh, the Glock 19 comes with a, um, uh, i got it in my little package here, I won't take it out. Comes with a serrated trigger. The edges of it are serrated. Has to do with government import laws here in the U.S., Again, another ridiculous thing. But anyway, so I changed that out. It is a stock Glock part just from a Model 17. So I put that in. It made the edges here very nice so it doesn't uh, make your trigger finger, you know, sore by the end of the day shooting. So I changed that. Um, I changed the trigger as well, as you can see. It's the trigger and the trigger bar. Um, I also put in a... Uh, Glock three and a half pound connector. It does not make it three and a half pound pull. It brings it down to about four pounds. And um, that made a considerable distance, uh, difference as well. I changed out the um, slide lock right here um, to one that was slightly larger um, right here on the little button part makes it a lot easier to uh, get to it um, so that that was changed um, I just now about 10 minutes ago I changed the mag release to a uh, Larry Vickers tango down extended mag release so you can see it's slightly longer and it's a little rounded on the edges so it doesn't quite affect you know your thumb as much and then as I showed previously, I switched to, um, this is the second, let me roll this back. This is the second set of sights. I had Frank Proctor's Why Notch sights first, 
but my old eyes just can't see them. And um, uh, these excess big dot sights I happen to love. I've used them on uh, a couple previous 1911s, and I just love these things. They're very accurate, particularly out to about 20 yards. Um, so those have been changed, and they're both, you know, they're metal sights, including the rear. So those are, you know, all the changes. And the only other thing that I may do since I'm, um, hold on a second, since I'm really into doing, um, you know, press checks, it's a little difficult to grab the gun here um, with the smooth finish and, you know, pull it back to do a press check. So uh, Frank Proctor, way of the gun, they do these cuts in the slide. And I don't like the big ones like these up front. So, but they do have uh, these small cuts along both edges that I think would make that a bit easier. And it's about a hundred bucks. And I think I am going to get that done. But other than that, um, I'm done, folks. <laughs> this is uh, uh, the last thing that I'll wind up. Oh, one last thing. I did do uh, talon grips. Um, and uh, they've been wonderful. I did notice this morning it actually slipped a little bit here. It was kind of lifting up a little bit. And um, but other than that, the rest of it has been perfect. So I really love the gun. Uh, it's a great home protection piece. I'm going to use it in a, I'm going to a, a one day shooting class in November. Try to keep my skills up a bit. And I'm going to use this gun as my primary weapon. And I will take a, a 1911 with me also. So uh, I hope you, you know, think the changes were well done. Very easy gun to work on, by the way, for any of you that um, are not used to working on guns. There's tons of YouTube videos. And uh, um, this, putting this in today was really, even though most people said it's kind of a pain in the ass, if you watch a couple of the videos, you'll see exactly how it's done. There's really nothing to it at all. I literally changed out this piece in five minutes. So um, if you have any comments, um, feel free to leave them below. And uh, stay well and safe out there, folks. We're living in some very dangerous times. Have a good day.